Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 26, 2020. So today we have School Site Peace. No matter what's going on in the world, and this is going to be hard because I know I'm finding it hard to not squawk about everything <laughs> that all of this is teaching us, right? The selfishness, uh, people only thinking of themselves. I gave the example of... Uh, my property management, who is classic for never taking accountability for anything, nothing's their job. They, the things that would be their job, they will say that that's not even their job, right? Um, they do shady, underhanded things, you know, all this stuff. But they just sent out this um, this notice that was not empathetic or acknowledging that we're all in this together, but rather only thinking of themselves. And it's very hard to not get upset by that or riled by it. Yes. Um, as I was explaining, you'll hear throughout probably a lot of the recordings that I do now, people are working from home. There's a lot more noise. It's like people are rushing to hurry up and get things done before their business gets shut down. So we're just going to have to roll with it. Being at peace is accepting, <laughs> right? accepting that there are going to be, um, you know, noises outside and accepting that not everybody's going to be on board with, uh, the collective and understanding or trying to help one another. But let's be at peace with where we are right now, even if you are experiencing job loss. You'll find another job, I promise you, okay? I feel really good about that. I do feel like people, people who have been pulled out of their industry for whatever reason, it's to get you to focus on something else. Now, you know, for some of you who actually own restaurants, what that is, is you, you'll get by and then you'll be able to open your restaurant. There's, there's an opportunity there. There's something for you to examine. Maybe while your restaurant is closed, you realize, you know what? I want to add a whole coffee bar to my establishment. You know what I mean? Um, it's, it's your time of innovation. It's your time to reinvent yourself. And so that's where a lot of this piece can come from, realizing that this downtime is a gift. It's not a gift for people who are obviously getting sick. But uh, for the rest of us that are supposed to be kind of laying low, right, so that we're not spreading anything, we can be at peace that we're doing our part uh, you be one of the people that's thinking of others, okay, without allowing people to take advantage of you because there are people who are doing that too. Oh, I, I, I don't have to go do my own grocery shopping. Like there's nothing, like nothing wrong with them whatsoever. They're not older. They're not, you know, they don't have a compromised immune system. They're just like, oh, here, there's a little service that will go do my grocery shopping. Cool. Here, I've got other things to do. You know, whatever. I mean, that's a silly example. But, you know, people that are trying to take advantage of the situation, tuning into that, knowing what is the difference there. But just, again, try to find the peace. Try to focus on the peace. Bring it into your heart. All right. When you bring it into the heart, it can shine out into the rest of the world. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.